Hey, y'all, hey. Had to do a voiceover. Had the nice babbling little brook in the background, but of course somebody found me and started talking to me, so I had to do the good old voiceover thing. So anyway, why are we here? There are only so many characters that you can type in the chat. And instead of typing several paragraphs to get my point across, I switch my words for Demetra to get the gist of my statement in a couple paragraphs. As a subby, I type long paragraphs all the time and was told several times that that was just too much to read. As a content creator, that point was driven home. Trying to read comments and keep your train of thought is a valuable skill. I'm trying to get that down myself. So I keep my paragraph typing to a minimum, especially when a content creator has a point to get out. I asked for the link to get that point out, but by the time I read ball back and temperature checked, Glamour had already had a snack on the way. So I, so I chose to let the main players engage and convey my perspective from the chat. The problem is, I couldn't get it, I couldn't fit it all in, so I had to switch my words up. What I originally typed was, read frequented Babe Nation longer than I wanted. Demetra frequented the spaceship longer than I wanted. I stood down and then naturally eroded because we vibe and tend to move the same way anyway. Just in our own time. So of course that paragraph was way too long and I had to shorten it. After a little frustration trying to stay within the comment parameters, my final statement was, Reed was in Babe Nation longer than I wanted, and Demetra stayed on the spaceship longer than I wanted. With the same ending, of course. My point was for Demetra to know I understand that feeling. I needed Demetra to pick up what I was putting down. So after debating about posting a comment, I decided to post it and go live after for clarification. But lives kept popping up from people involved, and I needed to get some sleep, so I decided to upload today. For clarification, Reed was never in Babe Nation. She frequented the chat like most of us back then. When I made my exit, I was irritated she didn't make hers and downright pissed when Fi kept dropping down in Reed chat and, in my opinion, playing in Reed face. The same way Demetria was never an NTO, she frequented the chat like most of us, and when I made my exit, I was irritated she didn't make hers because they was playing in her face. But I'm going to take a moment to apologize to Reed right here because at the end of the day, what I typed in that chat was Reed was in Babe Nation. She was never in Babe Nation. But as all the old heads know, before all this cultist stuff really started, it was a thing where if you were in that chat at that moment, you were that group. So if you were in, if you dropped down with SB, side eyes only existed then. If you were uh dropping down in Fi chat babe nation it was babe nation if you were dropping down and past the chat you was a ride or live so you know what i'm saying those who know know the over explaining I, I gotta cut that out but like i said read i do apologize because at the end of the day when i look what i type i did type read was in babe nation and that could be taken just like that and that's not what i was trying to convey but like i said my point was for demetra um, Demetra knows she stands alone, and I was counting on her to draw the parallel in what I was saying. I didn't want to leave her out in the water like none of her folks understood why she was spazzing. I understood. I just know it's greater later when the split happens naturally. When Fi offended Reed to the level that Reed snapped, that snap was real. It was thorough, and it was to the dirt. When Pete's and them offended Demetra to the level that Demetra snapped, we here now, and it's given thorough, real, and to the dirt. Nothing can compare to real disdain, disgust, or even downright hate. There's an old saying that those who don't hear must feel. Once you feel that yourself, there's usually no going back. So you got to allow others to feel it so it's real to them. That's usually how it gets to the dirt it's hard to see the situation from the inside but being on the outside especially with the gift gift of hindsight that's priceless can y'all imagine me trying to tell reed what the fuck to do how would that have worked out for me what about demetra could y'all imagine me telling demetra to stay away from those bitches because they was playing in her face i can answer for y'all 
both them motherfuckers would have snapped on me. I could have been a catalyst for Reed and Fire to be cooled in the motherfucker right now by simply trying to pull them apart. I would have been commentary for both and devoured by the sector. Same with Demetra Pizarro and Bree. I would have got skull dragged by Demetra, shaded by Bree, and pinched by Pizarro because let's be real, she can't do shit with me. <laughs> but I'm sure the intels would have tried to get me together, so there's that. Thank you, sweet baby weed Jesus. I never put those demands on them. I smoked and chilled. I took my feelings out my vagina because that's how they get fucked. And like I stated before, these YouTube ships imploded all on their own. There's a reason some of us have been cool for years. Some of us speak the same language. Some of us vibe the same way. Some of us are tribe and always end up in the same social media circles with no effort. Because that's who we are as individuals. No cults or clicks needed. Now, with all that being said, I have set in a snacks position before, appearing to over-explain my stance to a bitch who meant me no good and didn't like me anyway. My good sis, dear self, came up and gathered me. I got down because I knew she was right about that point, and I, I didn't need to satisfy my need to be heard right then, but it came back up later. I needed to be heard. I needed to get my point across. So, sure as shit, I ended up on another panel, over-explaining myself again. I didn't care about the optics. I needed to get out what I needed to get out so I could let it go. It wasn't for Pizarro. It wasn't to repair anything. I was shaking the dust off my feet because I didn't plan on coming back. That season was over. I could have left well enough alone, but I, need to I needed to establish myself. I needed to come out the gate swinging and throwing haymakers to back the lies up off me. I needed to personally monkey stomp and show these motherfuckers why they shouldn't play with me without a doubt. They didn't hear me, so they needed to feel me. My exercise and pimp slapping hoes wasn't so much for Pizarro's sake as it was for the next bitch who might think about testing me. The point was never for Pizarro. Did y'all notice in all that thing when they were when uh, the groups and the masses were attacking everybody else in this situation? They would always be like, well, not you, Blaze, not you, Blaze, your situation different, your situation different. Because I drove it home. I smashed the nail through the coffin. I would not let it go until the point was made that I didn't trip on that bitch. That bitch tripped on me and disrespected something I do not eat. I get up from the motherfucking table, capiche? Luckily for me, I just happened to be in a time and space where I could open my platform and talk my shit. I was interested in being a content creator anyway, so why not talk my shit on my platform? Snack hasn't popped her platform yet, so Lady Nika is one of the go-to spots that lets her subbies politic and squash shit at times. Whatever way Snack was taking it, I'm not 100%, but it looks to me like she was working her, well, she was working her way to the dirt. And forever in my Cardi voice with the crusty eye bitch. So I get why she was up there. She already chose her destination and was following MapQuest. But a friend had a shortcut, blew up her minivan and kidnapped her in the Camaro. <laughs> the destination was reached. But now a crusty eye bitch pushing a narrative that a snack can't drive. False flag and folks, snack can drive. And after they rob a bank or two, her friend is going to get her a new minivan. There's nothing to see here. Y'all really need to move the fuck along because uh, y'all may or may not get jumped listening to that crusty eyed little girl. This ain't that. This is not, I want my subbies to do it. So you can't move this way. You can't move that way. That was an emotional moment with a bitch talking to her friend. And that's between them. They're going to end up working that out. Of course, it's commentary. Everything is fucking commentary over here. But I just don't want y'all to fall in that trap. Don't think this is that because this is not that. The motherfuckers who've been rocking with her for a while, they will tell y'all without a doubt she will trip, but she will make it right. I've seen it personally myself. Demetra is one of the people who I've never seen. Like, I don't see everything, but I've never seen an instance where she didn't self-reflect and course correct. That's just what I see. We talk about what we see around here, so that's what I see. That's why I never left, never gave up, never anything. She get the tripping when she used to cuss the whole chat out. I would take my ball and take my ass home, come back to the park, and play ball with the bitch tomorrow. Shit, that just is what that is. 
I trip on my own. I'm grateful that people show me grace and mercy, forgive me, be like, bitch, you was tripping yesterday. Shit. Friends fight, family fight, people get emotional, people have that time of the month, people are stressed, whatever the case may be, people go through shit. And I appreciate somebody who's real, comes out with it, says and does it. But like I said, I learned daily and I did learn that that shit worked it out itself for the most part. I'm sure it's still a little, you know, little nips and tucks they need to do to get stuff together. But for the most part, it worked out and I didn't even need to make the statement. I didn't need to even need to type the statement to put my little two cent in because it was going to work itself out. But that's what I do when I care about people in relationships and what it is and if I can relate if I feel like you dangling out there and everybody else is saying hey damn how could you feel like this and I know I've definitely felt that way before I'm usually going to say something so I just have to learn how learn more how to fall back and let things happen if I'm needed I'm needed if I'm not I'm not and in that instance I wasn't needed and I kind of you know what I'm saying almost sacrificed you know, a little of read integrity to defend Demetra. That's just the way I'm taking it. I'm not trying to put anything between read Demetra, none of that. Y'all know I love both them bitches. That just is what it is. They probably cat fighting right now still. Cause y'all know I've been working my ass off lately. But I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I love both them bitches. And shit, they just they are different sides of the same coin to me. Them bitches will fight any fucking body. <laughs> like, that's what's up. I love a fighting, scrapping ass bitch. I love a real ass bitch. And if y'all ain't noticed, both of them bitches will strap the sector on their back and fight any and every fucking body. Holla at your girl. That's some shit Blaze would do. When I get on my bullshit, I will fight every fucking body. Right, wrong, or indifferent. So I try not to stand in judgment. I try to throw in my little, oh, I can relate. Oh, I've been through that. Oh, I can this. And like I said, y'all know I got a little bit of narcissism. So I, I, I find a way that most things relate to me. That's something I'm working on. If you love me, you fuck with me. You know that. You understand. You're going to bear with me. Bye.